We were interviewed uh, by actually Tommy Church was the landscape architect that was selected for UCSD as a consultant. But the distance from his office down here, he felt that there must be a firm in San Diego that he could consult with or work with. We got the job because of uh, his uh, seeing our work and wanting to interview us up there in San Francisco. And when he, when he met with us, he said, no question, you and Harriet are going to be the recommendation that I give to UCSD. And uh, if occasionally I have to come down and meet with you and critique your work, I'd be glad to do it. And I said, we would love to have you come down. He saw the work as it was going on. He never, he, he didn't even question what we were doing. It was, uh, it was wonderful to have that uh, opportunity. We started our whole career down at Scripps, and I told you about that, you know, that park. And then we moved up the hill. The next project we had for UCSD was the married student apartment. Mosier and Drew, the architects who recommended me to Harriet, were doing those buildings. And we visited campuses up in the Bay Area that were doing housing for married students. And that was sort of the stepping block. Next one was Laval College which was a wonderful project. And at that time we were, because of what we did down at Scripps and the chancellor, the new chancellor came in, saw what we were doing, assigned us to be the landscape architect consultants for the UCSD campus. I mean, it was absolutely wonderful for us. They wanted us to establish a color of the concrete that would be consistent to Ravel College. They didn't want arch one architect, there are five architects there. They didn't want to have one architect have exposed aggregate, another one having, you know, brick or whatever. So the, the paving and the lighting fixtures, things that would, could be consistently through, because the architecture is going to be different, each one. So the landscape has to carry the whole thing. And that's why those eucalyptus trees that we fought so hard to keep was was the the element that tied the college all together. If you walk around Ravel College, if it went for all those eucalyptus that were in and out, those buildings would just kind of be stuck out there. And so when Ravel College was, was finished, someone mentioned the walls. Uh, how did you ever come about building that wall out of the lava rock? And uh, it was something I, I happened to find at the, at the place that sold all these different boulders because we wanted to do a kind of a natural wall, not block, concrete block or brick. It didn't seem suitable for that camp. We wanted something that was more natural looking. So I went to this rock quarry and sure enough they had this lava rock. I said, you know, that'd make a hell of a nice wall. <laughs> so uh, that, that, that came about there.